Jason, some rain today, but we managed to fit in some sunshine as well. So at least there's a positive in there. Yeah, it depended where you were this morning. If you woke up, you didn't see any sunshine in southern Maine. You yeah. saw it in northern Maine. Then it just flipped the script, right? <laughs> right. And now the rain was later in the day up north and uh, earlier in the day down south. So there you go. Rain mostly north overnight, uh, foggy too. That's going to start to pop up uh, a few showers to start the work week. We're warmer and drier later into the week, although there will still be some showers, especially in the mountains, I think through Wednesday. Right now, so I got that spin going on. It's like round two. If we're stuck in Groundhog Day, another storm, same spot spinning. The difference with this one is that the shower activity up in Presque Isle now, you see, look at this broad spin. The good news is with this is we're clearing behind this. OK, so we're going to see an improvement. Visibility 10 miles. What I get getting out of here is that there's no storm on deck like there was yesterday. OK, temperatures in the 50s. Uh, it is just about a pretty typical night, 54 in Arundel, uh, the Casco Bay, mid coast, uh, up towards Bar Harbor, Southwest Harbor, Eastport, 54. I mean, it's 50s everywhere. So just take your pick there. Here's the spin and watch what happens in the county on Monday through the morning time. It's just going to be raining pretty much all day from north of pretty much Holt North. Uh, this just band is going to be stuck somewhat like a winter storm, no snow. Uh, and then we'll have some pop ups tomorrow uh, away from the coast. Mostly if you make it down to the coastline, not a big deal. Uh, and then into Monday night, we clear out again, we we'll lose the sun. That's the engine that drives storms this time of the year, at least the pop up ones. Tuesday morning here. Notice it's dry. It's clear, very comfortable. Humidity is not going to be a problem this week. And then here we go. Pop ups happening again Tuesday afternoon, mostly away from the coast strong onshore flow and then Tuesday night we dry out again. Now watch what happens on Wednesday morning. A lot of fog I think is going to be coming on shore here and then mountains Wednesday afternoon see that rain. So this is a pop up thing going on here. Another taste of summer is coming by Thursday. That's our most humid day. It's also the day where it's going to be the warmest. So just keep that in mind. If you want to do the AC unit, you'll probably need it Thursday uh, wind. Southwest 10 to 15. We'll take that. Not too bad. No small craft up for the Mariners at this time. Forecast inland here. I've got 70s and then 81. The reason I have 70s is because there will be showers popping up from time to time. Not all day washouts. And then here comes the front Friday into Saturday. We cool off. Humidity drop for the weekend at the coast. A little cooler next couple of days. Strong onshore flow through Wednesday. So we'll think we'll just barely get to 70, especially maybe a couple miles inland from the coast. Uh, and then we're flirting with 80, which this time of the year, not a big deal. It's June. Mm. Thunderstorms come through showers and then on Sunday. I really want the big takeaway here is that this front comes through early on Saturday. The rain gets out of here by around you know, daybreak. Alex, okay. I think it's a gorgeous weekend. Awesome. Good yeah. to hear. Thank you, so Jason.